Okay, so the Ultra Escalante racers, what do I think of them? Is the design good? Are they comfortable? What does the cushioning feel like? How does it interact with my running form and my body? Well, I'll show you in this video and I'll also give you a good overview of the visuals in 4K so you get a really good look at the shoe and you also get some opinions on it which will help you decide if it's worth your time or money. So, let's begin. Let's start with the design. I really like them. In terms of appearance, I'm going to give this shoe a 10 out of 10. They look amazing. The colour scheme of black, grey, white and green, it just works so well together. And, you know, compared to the minimalist shoes, it really... I mean, I, I like running in minimalist shoes, I just don't like the look of them. I think, at best, they look okay. And it's nice to run in a shoe that actually looks great for a change. Even compared to all the other brands and shoes, like I really like the sort of levelness of it too. I don't, I don't like heel drops, so it just looks like such a balanced, symmetrical, nice shoe. And underneath, yeah, that design's a little bit interesting. The tread, it's kind of funky, but you know, it looks all right still. Um, I think that's just an ultra thing, to be honest. It's a very light shoe as well. Like it feels like you're almost wearing hardly anything in terms of weight. Uh, it's comfortable too. The cushioning for me is the right balance of firm and soft. Like obviously I'm a little bit biased because I'm usually running with no cushioning. So generally speaking I don't enjoy cushioning on most shoes. They feel too soft like and squidgy for me and it just feels strange. But these shoes, they're like just sort of in between of, what I, of like them squishy shoes and the minimalist shoes so I'm, I'm quite enjoying them they feel firm and responsive it feels like the ground's kind of bouncing back a little bit which is you know strange and I went I ran 19 miles on the weekend with my friend Jack who we're training for a big race in the summer so this was split up into two runs and basically I ran about half of the distance in these Ultra Escalante races and the other half in Ultra Lone Peak 4s, which are sort of like a trail version of the shoe. And something very interesting happened. Basically, because I only usually run in minimalist shoes and then I switched into these shoes, it activated different muscles. And just like, just like Zach said, the distribution of the forces went from my feet and my lower legs to my upper legs. And the next few days, my quads were hurting quite a lot, my upper legs. So that was a very interesting side note. But yeah, this isn't the full review video. The full review video will have, will be after a few hundred miles and it will have like a full effort sort of editing and music, you know, really try to, it'll be, this is like a miniature version of the big one that's to come. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this shoe so far. It's, it looks great, it feels great. Let's see how long the cushioning lasts and let's see if as there's any other problems or any other part of the shoe that degrades first. So that will be in the future sometime. So that's all I've got to say about these shoes for now. So if you want to see some more shoe review videos or preview videos, just check them out on my channel. I've got videos about runners too, about pro runners and what we can learn from them. So yeah, see you in a bit.